Marstiller and I'm the president of the Student Government Association and I'm standing outside the Space Science Center here at Moorhead State University. Inside this building behind me, nestled in the hills of eastern Kentucky, is where faculty and students designed and built a cube satellite that will soon travel to the moon. The satellite, called the Lunar Ice Cube, will travel aboard the most powerful spacecraft ever made, Artemis I, as part of a NASA mission to the moon where it will search for signs of water ice. Follow me as we learn more about this exciting project. The Lunar Ice Cube mission is an extraordinary mission for Moorhead State. It's actually a NASA mission, but Moorhead State University is the lead on it. We have NASA partners, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, uh, and other partners, but Moorhead State is actually the lead institution. It's a $24 million program. It's going to the moon on the maiden voyage of the most powerful rocket ever built in the history of the world. It's a pretty extraordinary mission for Moorhead State. Humans haven't set foot on the moon in 50 years, but NASA is setting out to change that, and Moorhead State University is going along for the ride. The history of this agency is marked with broken barriers, once viewed as impossible, with science fiction turned reality, with innovations that have spun industries all their own. We soar in the skies of our home planet. We maintain a human presence just outside of gravity, and we touch points all across the solar system and beyond. We're going back to the moon. When NASA's Artemis One mission launches, a piece of MSU will be on board. The Lunar Ice Cube, built here at the center, is a small cube satellite that will orbit the moon and search for traces of water ice on the moon's surface. The presence of water ice could indicate that there is enough water on the moon to support future human-led missions to the moon, and even Mars. Orion's orbit will be as close as 60 miles above the moon, then 280,000 miles away from Earth. That's the furthest any human spacecraft has traveled. NASA is targeting a landing zone on the moon's south pole because they believe there's water ice there. A unique and valuable partnership for Moorhead State, the opportunity to participate in the mission wasn't just a stroke of luck. MSU has long been recognized for the work happening inside these walls. The Space Science Center at Moorhead State University was an early adopter of nanosatellites, uh, particularly CubeSats. We have been able to meet and exceed all of the needs to build a CubeSat. In other words, we've become a one-stop shop here. We've built all the infrastructure necessary to go from concept to final delivery. So we've come from very humble beginnings to being an internationally recognized force in the CubeSat business. Moorhead State University is a small regional university, about 10,000 students in Appalachian, Kentucky. We have outstanding staff that we brought in from all over, from the East Coast and the West Coast, from the aerospace and defense industries. And we've all sort of met here in the middle of the country to produce a, a pretty exciting uh, program and uh, research and development facility. Although the program has been successful for years, this particular assignment is just an extra bright shining star in the vast galaxy of work completed at the center. In fact, that's probably the coolest thing that we've, we've done, which is the Lunar Ice Cube mission. It's actually a NASA mission, but it's led by Moorhead State University and its partners. For the students working within the program, it's an even greater honor to witness the project. There's not enough words to describe how cool this program is, and getting to work with Lunar Ice Cube is just phenomenal. The amount of involvement hands-on experience that I've had and work that we've put into this just makes it very exciting. <laughs> when the satellite begins its orbit, faculty and students will send commands and monitor data via the Missions Operations Center within the Space Science Center, this room here. I think it's going to be a, uh, a big day for everybody. Uh, we have had, you know, we have tracked missions in the past, but it's more on a test basis and recently we are actually supporting the capstone mission. But uh, the ultimate goal of this development is to support the Lunar Ice Cube, um, CubeSat along with other missions on the Artemis launch. So that would be where everything will be proven out. And uh, I think the team is ready for it. The data gathered throughout the course of the mission will help guide the planning for future missions to the moon. Yeah, I mean, successful or not, it's, it's still very exciting. We've put a lot of work into it. We've gotten so much experience. We've made so many connections doing this. You know, we work one-on-one -on -one with NASA scientists pretty much on a daily basis. And so just the hands-on experience and the developments that we've made 
make it very exciting. We've had over 60 students over the years working on this mission. So we'll literally have students that will have their fingerprints on the moon at the end of this mission. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> As we gather at the Space Science Center, eagerly awaiting the launch, we hope that you will join us in sharing the excitement. We invite you to stay tuned and watch as Artemis One embarks on its voyage, carrying a little piece of blue and gold inside. Thanks for joining us, and let's get ready to soar higher.